So auto is a, a really good one because it allows for this pose to pose workflow without a lot of overshoots, overshoots being when the curves go like that, which they will do on spline. So this is really good because it'll just lock that object going up and down. As soon as we sort of bring this down, that tangent type is no longer flat. And what will happen is when we get sort of in the middle, it's now doing what spline's doing. So it's sort of going exactly from that tangent type in a straight line. As we come close, it tries to keep that plateaued. So we're getting a bit of a hint as to what this is doing, or clamped is another way of putting that. And as we come above, that will remain flat. So as we come down, it will always go like that and even out. And then from that point on, as far as we go down, it's going to remain flat. So this really has to do with what the keyframes are doing either side for every single example in, in here. And that will just happen to do a nice fall off until we go spline. And then as we get close, it'll sort of come in and back up again. And that also goes for these ones on the ends because they'll always just remain flat all the time, which is a little bit annoying. Sometimes we want to grab those there and just hit them to spline just to make sure that it doesn't come to a complete stop. Oftentimes on camera moves, you don't want them to slow in and slow out. So I'll often be telling people to make them spline or linear from the first keyframe. Linear or spline won't matter because it's still pointing there. It probably matters for the out tangents if we have got infinity, which we'll get into later. 